Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Something I should have done two years ago. <laughs> Created an introductory video to my channel. Stay tuned. Welcome. everyone, how are you doing? Monica Bodierski here. I am the artist and author of the Shadowland Tarot, Shadowland Lenormand, and many oracle decks that have been self-published. Okay, here it is. This is what I've been procrastinating for two years. This is an introduction to my channel. I created this YouTube channel so that I could share my love of tarot, tarot art, my earth-based spirituality, and offer you spreads for free and maybe some commentary and opinion, but just to get you thinking about how you feel about these things. And we can start a community conversation going. It's been really great. Thank you so much to all of you who have left your comments and your insights. They're really helpful. And I think it's tough for some people when you step forward and you put that out there, other people will come along and say, okay, I'm not the only one commenting here. So very brave. That first person who jumps in, kudos. All right. So who am I? Well, I mentioned I'm a tarot artist and I am a designer. And my primary purpose for creating tarot and oracle decks is to offer you tools that make you empowered and help you manifest your visions, your dreams, and live your best life. Sounds pretty lofty, but it's not. <laughs> it works. It works. It doesn't work overnight. It's not a panacea. And I would never suggest you use tarot instead of seeking professional assistance from psychiatrists or lawyers or financial advisors. But it unlocks realms that we don't normally see. For me, tarot is a portal. can be for you. I used to communicate with ancestors. And why do I do that? Because as the child of immigrants, connecting with ancestors really helps me reclaim my identity, feel authentic and integrated and empowered. Instead of having others tell me who I am, I use it to dig into the past and find who I am. I've even done past life spreads. I think the first one I offered in a class was way back in 2011. I've been doing that for quite a while. So tarot can do that for you. You can find out who you were in a past life. You can use it as a tool for meditation, reflection, shadow work, and use it to heal trauma alongside other modalities, of course. And that one important note is that there's a difference here. I want to offer you spreads and ways that you can help yourself, okay, and become empowered and self-reliant, as I've mentioned, not rely on tarot to make your decisions for you. Unfortunately, a lot of people do, and they may visit tarot sites where they're being told what is going on in their life, you should be able to do that yourself, which is why I offer classes on how to read tarot. Yes, it can be difficult. Not everyone wants that. And it's why I also offer readings because sometimes you just need a, a reading. You, you can't sit down and learn tarot. It is not as some other horrifically frightening video will tell you, learn tarot in an hour. Mm, I don't think so. So however you want to approach it, it is incredibly helpful and healing. Um, all those things. I do see it mystically as well as um, for reflection and inner work. I see it as both reaching out to the universe and uh, looking in. So tarot is that portal. Some people will tell you you're supposed to say tarot is for entertainment purposes only. Well, 
it can be entertaining. You can just enjoy the art. Art is incredibly enlightening and evocative and brings all sorts of uh, things to mind. It inspires. It can hit us instantly in a way that words do not. It's universal. We understand archetypal symbols around the world. They are very universal. We know that heart. We know it means love. It is something that has always helped me heal. Making art, designing things for others to help them, and offering readings and classes. So this is why the channel's here. And I hope, even if you don't want to learn tarot, I hope you try an occasional spread. They're usually easy. They may seem incredibly reductive at times, and they're by no means the only spreads or the best spreads. They're things that have worked for me. Sometimes I'm in a hurry, and I can pull a card or two and get the point. Uh, sometimes you need to pull 20 or 30 cards and have someone else read your cards. That is reality. But at least you can get started with some of the things I'm offering here. And when I take you out to the garden, please don't get confused and think that I'm no longer talking about tarot. I make my art in that back magical cabin and those herbs help me heal alongside. So what I'm doing is I'm showing you parts of myself so that you can see I'm an authentic person. Sometimes I'm sweaty, makeup, no makeup, daylight, dark. You know, it's all good. I like to see other people who create things. I like to know who they are. Some people don't. They like the mystery of never knowing and they're shrouded in this, my private life, my professional life. Eh. I kind of like an integrated witchy life, the life of a tarot artist. So if that resonates with you at all or is appealing, please watch the channel, enjoy it. It's not a money maker. It is a labor of love. Everyone, have yourselves a wonderful week and pull a card or two. What? Pull a card? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Let me leave you with that. Some days you're on top of the wheel. Some days you're barely hanging on. And tarot can help us get through that. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'll talk to you real soon. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Bye-bye.